You know, when I think yeah. about this yeah. a little bit, just to kind of add on to that is I look at it, it's almost level setting like your patient care load. So as an athletic trainer, if we think about this, I was getting a ridiculous number of calls of people that, you know, were congested or had a headache or, you know, were sick and may have the flu and didn't want to go to urgent care, but I'll just call my athletic trainer. Well, there's not, it used to be that those calls were minimal. You never got the call at night. You never got the call at midnight or at five o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. But, you know, consumers now are used to, they want immediate answers and they want immediate information. So there's only so much you can do from home as an athletic trainer. So having an option that they could get a virtual um, consultation or have a virtual call with somebody could be really beneficial. It's same thing from a mental health perspective. You know, the number of people that would come in that were challenging from a mental health perspective um, was, you know, 25% of what it is now. So it's providing you that additional resource so that you can go back to level setting your original level of patient care, um, which I think most athletic trainers want to be able to do now. They're feeling very overwhelmed by the number of patients that they have. They know they can't possibly provide all the care for every single person that walks in. So what are some things that can help assist you? We're not looking at a virtual person to be able to help us with an ACL tear. We're looking for some of that other resources that maybe can help offset some of the burden that we're feeling at the current at, at our current time. 